So you've gone solar and you've chosen to use the world's best solar inverter, Fronius. This video is going to show you how to use Fronius's online monitoring platform called SolarWeb so that you can ensure that your system is producing as it should and saving you as much money as it should. It's not going to go into the details of the extra benefits that you get from installing a Fronius smart meter. That'll be for the next video. First step you're going to want to do is jump in to solarweb.com, this page that I'm on here. When you get there, just above me here, there is a login button. So press the login button and you'll get to this page here. Now this demo that I'm doing today is going to be for a Fronius inverter without a smart meter connected. So it's going to be a real basic overview of SolarWeb. Uh, after this, I'll do a video of uh, Fronius Inverter with a smart meter and we'll really dig down into some more detail. So when you get to the login page, you will just put in your email address that you provided with us. And if you can't remember the password that we set up for you, just press forgot my password. We recommend that anyway. And you're, you can put in your own password. If you're not sure of the email address that you gave to us, um, give us a call. We can reset that, put a new one in there or tell you what you used. Okay. And so once you've pressed login, you'll get to a page like this. This is a, again the page if you have a solar system without a Fronius smart meter and your system should be producing with this figure on the left. Now, if you've got a big offline figure here, that means your system is not um, connected to Wi-Fi. It's lost its connection somehow, either because you've got NBN or changed your modem or something like that. Don't worry, we've got a quick video for that and it's a fairly basic run over. Um, this Fronius Wi-Fi reconnect um, video that Shane has done for us. So go onto my YouTube channel or click on the link above me now and that'll take you through and tell you how to reconnect. Okay, I'll just go back to the system and it's around about two o'clock, just after two o'clock in the afternoon and it's producing 1.5 kilowatts. It's a bit of an overcast day. This system has got nine kilowatts of panels on an 8.2 kilowatt inverter. Um, so it's not exactly cranking, a bit of cloud cover at the moment. That data updates every five seconds or so, so it's fairly accurate. Now, this system, again, doesn't tell you how much power you're sending to the grid and how much you're using in your home. You need a Fronia smart meter to do that. When you get your power bill back and it tells you that your solar feed-in tariff has saved you $10 a month and you go, oh no, solar's not worth it. So many people get this wrong. That $10 a month is the portion that you sent back to the grid. Your utility, Energex or Origin or whoever it is, can not read and understand how much of your solar you've produced that hasn't gone through their, that, their meter. They haven't read that. They don't know. That's the job of a Fronia smart meter. So if you your bill says you've only saved $10 a month or $100 a month and you're a bit disappointed with that, well, that's actually good news. It means that you haven't sent a lot of your power back to the grid for a pittance, but you've actually made use of that power during the day. Now, if we go over to here on my uh, right, there's an earnings table. That Those figures, again, will not make sense if you don't have a Fronia smart meter because we haven't divided up the portion that you've sent back to the grid for maybe 10 cents and the portion that you've used in your house and saved 25 cents or so. So don't worry about that. Blow us is a photo that we've updated um, of your system when we installed it or a mock-up of how we did it. If you want that updated, we can um, do that for you. We quite often go into our systems and update the photo so that our data is accurate. And the weather data down there at the moment is not much use. So energy balance, um, this graph in the center, you don't really look at it. It's really just a big over, oversized button like this. So click into that button and this is where we dig a little deeper into SolarWeb. So this is what the system has produced today. Quite an overcast um, day here in Brisbane. So the power production has gone all over the place. And down the bottom here, we can click into yesterday, which was less overcast, but still a bit rainy. And the day before, which was a perfect Queensland day. You can see this system, you might wonder why on a perfect day, uh, a nine kilowatt system only gets up to 4.9 kilowatts. So a couple of reasons. First, it's efficiency of panels. A 350 watt panel or whatever will never produce 350 watts unless it's in perfect conditions. So you've got efficiency losses in, in many different ways of just being in the real world. So if you've got 
say, 10 kilowatts worth of panels. The most you'll probably see from that system is around about 8 kilowatts in summertime. If you've got at least an 8 kilowatt inverter, you won't be able to go over the capacity of your inverter. But this system here is obviously not even producing 80%. That's partly because we're getting towards winter time, being at the end of April here, and we have faced these panels towards the south, so away from the sun. So panels form best when the sun is hitting them at 90 degree angle. And because it's miles off that, the system is producing a lot worse in winter months. Now, you probably want to go back and see how your system is produced over the year. You can't do that unless you have premium. So this system, we have signed up for premium and we can do that. And the good news is signing up for premium is absolutely free. So there should be a bu uh, button um, above my head if you haven't signed up for premium. We'll give you an example here. A big red premium button um, asking you to hit it and to sign up for premium. Like I said, it's free. You'll just have to go in there, agree to terms and conditions, go to the cart, act as if you're paying it. Don't worry. You don't have to put in any credit card details. It's a grand total of zero pounds. Now, later on, Fronius is probably end of 2020 or also, Fronius is going to come up with a better premium version that's going to give you a battery sizing tool so you can understand if the battery is going to be worth it for you and weather forecasting information uh, so you can see what your system should be producing tomorrow and in the next week. So that's something to look forward to. But the data that we've got at the moment, there's heaps of it. So let's have a little bit more of a look. So down the bottom here, we can click into month now that we have premium and we can see what your system has been producing on average. It sits somewhere between 30 and 40 kilowatt hours in the month of April per day. Now this return on investment, this premium feature up here and the expense is not relevant to you because you don't have a Fronius smart meter. And so we'll go through that again in the next video. So if we go into year, we can see what the system has produced month by month this year. And then if we click back on the bottom left hand arrow, we can see how the system has produced over last year, month by month. And again, you can see January it produces so much better than it does in July. And this curve is exacerbated um, because again, this system is facing south. So January systems, if you've got a nice 10 degree pitch roof, the sun in summer is almost directly above your head or even a little bit behind in Brisbane. And so that's very close to a 90 degree angle. So uh, a flat or a, just a little bit south facing system really cranks in summertime. But in wintertime, because the sun is so much lower and the panels are facing the opposite direction, the system really suffers. So for this system, we worked with what we had and we just oversized and put a larger system in than we normally would to make up the difference. So now you can go into total and see what the system is produced year by year. And this system last year produced 13.12 megawatt hours. Now, is that good? Yes, it is good. But how do you know? Well, you go into what we sent you out beforehand. And this is a near map tool, the data that we set up and how we predicted your system would perform um, before we sold you the system. So we've, we've um, virtually placed the panels on the roof here and put in all the data of the panels and the orientation of the panels and put our efficiency expected with, with dirt and cable losses and everything like that. And we estimated the system would produce around about 11 megawatt hours or 11,679 kilowatt hours over the year. And again, if we go back here in 2019, we produced 13 megawatt hours or 13,120 kilowatt hours. So we underestimated there. The good thing about this data for us is it helps us make sure our predictions are getting more accurate and we generally get a bit more accurate about that over over time. However, we generally try to underestimate. We, we don't want to over, oversell what the system is going to produce. You can do the same thing, and this is really useful if you go into year, in the year of 2019, and see this curve. In January, we estimated the system would have produced 1,584 kilowatt hours. Now, we go back here. They have it on average per day. So in January, we predicted the system would have produced 43 kilowatt hours. And I'm just getting out my calculator. And if you go 43 times 31 days for January, you've got 1,300. 
133 kilowatt hours was our estimate. And if we go back here again, remember it was 1,500 or so. So again, we underestimated what the system would produce. We don't always get it that way. I did the figures before for June and the system actually produced something like 560 kilowatt hours, but we estimated that it would have produced 590 or so. Predicting the future, obviously, is not an exact science. Uh, we can't always get it right. But this will give you an idea of whether there's a problem with your system or it's, you know, whether a tree's growing up or, or there's a problem with your panel. Now, if your system is drastically underproducing for the year or, or on uh, the majority of months, you might want to give us a call and we can look a lot further into that and I'll just give you a really quick overview of how we do that. So back to your desktop and press, press on analysis and history. And if you go down there, you have to choose the inverter. If there's a smart meter or more inverters, you can choose all of those. And then channels. And I've already chosen a few channels um, to show us all the different values. And I'm just going to go back to that clear day that we had a couple of days ago. And you can see our charts there, which give us our voltage, AC voltage. So is Energex voltage getting too high? We can see the DC voltage at different times of the day. And we can see the power of um, the full inverter and each half of the inverter because we break it down into two different strings. And we can find a whole lot of information about there, whether the grid voltage is too high, like I mentioned, whether you've got a smashed panel, whether you've got dirt on one panel, whether there's maybe shade on one of your arrays in the afternoon, or whether you've just actually got a fault with an isolator and, and half of your system is out altogether. Uh, another thing we've picked up with this is faulty Tygo optimizers, where we've had a couple of Tygo optimizers on the roof. They've failed and they've actually dragged the the system down by 30 volts or so. So we can see that at a point in time, um, the voltage dropped on one tracker by 30 volts and we pin that down and say that's a failed TIGO. We went through all of our TIGO systems recently and found quite a few of those. Now, I hope that's giving you, giving you a little bit of an overview. There's not, to be honest with you, a lot more that you'll want to see in SolarWeb. That's given you a fairly decent overview if you don't have a smart meter. Now, if you do have a Frenia smart meter installed, I'm doing another video about that and it'll give you a lot more detail about how to get this earning figure right and how to look in and see what you have saved over the lifetime of your system. Thanks for watching. Um, do you reckon I should um do you reckon I should wear my Fronius hat or is that a little bit too fanboyish?